listen, here's the thing. If you can't spot the sucker in your first half hour at the table, then you are the sucker. Feeling a bit perplexed about why the online poker dream isn't unfolding as you imagined, it's a question that haunts players of all levels, even the seasoned ones. In this video, we're gonna be doing a step-by-step -step analysis to crack the code. By the end of this breakdown, you'll have a treasure trove of insights into areas you can fine-tune to take your poker game to the next level. Number 1. So you think you're a poker expert after a mere 1000 hands? Well, let me introduce you to the mysterious creature called Variance. It's like that one friend who loves to mess with you just when you think you've got it all figured out. Trust me, drawing conclusions from such a tiny sample is like trying to predict the weather with a soggy spaghetti noodle. It's essential to understand that even the most skilled players can experience swings of good and bad luck. If you want to see the light, embrace the grind and play at least 100,000 hands. Number 2. If you neglect bankroll management, you're swimming in shark-infested waters without a life jacket. It's like trying to climb Mount Everest in flip-flops. Not pretty, not smart. Without bankroll management, you're just chasing unicorns while blindfolded. You have been lucky a few times, but in the long run, you'll be singing the saddest poker song in history. Number 3. You're like a kid in a candy store playing every hand that comes your way. Sure, in poker anything can happen, but let's face it, putting your money on every single hand is like playing roulette with your life savings. Not a great plan. Remember, just because something's possible doesn't mean it's worth betting the farm on it. The odds can be as elusive as a disappearing magician's rabbit. So take a breath, think twice, and save your chips for those golden opportunities when the odds are winking at you. Being a poker pro means being selective, like a discerning wine connoisseur. You'll thank me when you're swimming in a sea of poker profits. Number 4. Position is like the unsung hero of poker and we must admit, we might have sometimes underestimated its true powers. Playing from the button feels like having a backstage pass to a rock concert while being UTG is more like being stuck in the nosebleed seats. It's like the difference between dancing in spotlight and trying not to trip over your feet in the dark. So let's make amends, shall we? Here's to playing from the button and leaving UTG in the dust. Number 5. I've caught you red-handed with those min raises. So let's set the record straight. Pre-flop, it's all about the three big blind raises plus one big blind for each limper. It's like the golden recipe for cooking up success at the poker table. And post-flop, no more tiptoeing around with tiny bets. It's time to go big or go home. At least half or two-thirds of the pot will be our mantra and we'll make those opponents sweat. Number 6. I must admit watching you juggle all those tables was quite impressive. Sure, the cool kids might be multitasking like poker wizards, but that doesn't mean you have to follow suit. Take a deep breath. Find your comfort zone and remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. Just like if I had been handed a Ferrari as my first ride, I probably would have crashed it within a few minutes. Thank goodness, life had different plans and I ended up with a quirky washing machine on wheels. It might not be flashy, but it kept me grounded and safe. So embrace your pace and master one table at a time. It's like savoring fine wine appreciating every nuance instead of gulping down a dozen shots. Who knows, you might even discover a hidden talent that was overshadowed by the glitz and glamour of multi-tabling. Number 7. I can see your enthusiasm for those tempting flush and straight draws, <laughs> yeah, boy. but let's take a moment to pump the brakes. Chasing after every draw like a dog after a squirrel might not be the best game plan. Sure, they can be alluring, but blindly going for them without considering the odds is like jumping into a pool without checking if there's water. Fear not, my friend, for the savior of all draw chasers is here, pot odds. They're like the guiding light in the darkness of draw temptation. Before you make a move, let those pot odds do their magic and they'll lead you to the promised land of wise decisions. Number 8. 
I can see the allure of getting a peek at your opponent's hand, but let's not let that blind us to the harsh reality. It's not all rainbows and butterflies if it's draining our bankroll. Sure, it's like having x-ray vision when you see their cards after the showdown, but if it's costing you hard-earned money, it's more like a curse than a blessing. So it's time to put on your poker grown-up pants and learn the art of contentment. Folding might feel like admitting defeat, but it's actually a display of wisdom and discipline. Remember, pride won't fill your pockets, but making prudent decisions will. Number 9. The classic Poker Stars is Rigged Anthem. It's the go-to excuse for many when things don't go their way. But let's take a step back and examine the situation with a touch of objectivity. Blaming the poker room might feel comforting, like a secure blanket, but let's get real here. It's not the platform's fault if our game has some leaks. Instead of pointing fingers outward, winning players take a deep dive inward. They scrutinize their own moves, analyze their plays, and search for those pesky leaks that can drain our success like a leaky faucet. So the next time you feel the urge to blame the poker room, pause and ask yourself if there are areas in your game that need improvement. It's all about the journey to becoming a better poker player. Oh, meanwhile, did you know that subscribing to my poker channel instantly boosts your luck at the tables? Disclaimer, results may vary, but hey, it's worth a shot. Number 10. In this age of high-tech wizardry, with training videos, interactive seminars, there's still a special place for those good old-fashioned poker books. They're like the wise old sages of poker knowledge, wanting to bestow their wisdom upon you. Sure, we've got all those fancy tech stuff, but hey, sometimes we gotta appreciate the basics. Number 11. The Endless Pursuit of Stats You're obsessed with becoming the perfect 22-18-3 player, like it's some secret formula for poker greatness. It's like trying to crack the Da Vinci Code of poker stats. But let me tell you something, forcing yourself into this robotic playstyle won't magically transform you into a poker wizard. Playing poker is an art not a math equation. It's like trying to paint the Mona Lisa by sticking to a strict color by numbers guide. Are you serious? So let's stop the stat chasing madness and focus on the true essence of poker, playing good, solid, instinctive poker. Number 12. Poker Tilt, my old nemesis. It's like a pesky gremlin that invades our poker brain and turns us into irrational beings. Shoving all in with King Deuce offsuit UTG after a bad beat? That's the epitome of tilt-induced madness. It's like trying to cure a headache by banging your head against the wall. Not the brightest idea. Tilted decisions are like giving our chips away as if they're going out of fashion. So the next time, tilt comes knocking, take a deep breath, and remember that poker isn't a revenge-seeking vendetta. It's a game of strategy, wit, and patience. Save the King Deuce offsuit shenanigans for the comedy club stage, not the poker table. Number 13. Floating the flop and check raising the turn might sound like a grand opera of poker brilliance, but let's face reality here. If your opponent is calling you down with bottom pair like it's their long lost twin, those fancy moves will likely fall flat. It's like trying to perform a magic trick for someone who thinks rabbits come out of hats for real. Keep it straightforward like a classic burger and fries combo. Bet those good hands like a boss, and when you're dealt a not so great hand, just graciously fold and live to fight another day. You don't need Shakespearean theatrics at micro stakes. Save those fancy plays for the big leagues when your opponents can appreciate the artistry. Number 14. It's time to turn up the heat and crank those value bets to the max. Let those poker chips flow like a waterfall of poker goodness. Why settle for a measly $20 value bet in a juicy $100 pot when you can go all in and get called by a glorious $100 bet? It's like sipping a tiny cup of coffee when you can gulp down a venti sized cup of victory. Bigger value bets are the secret sauce to skyrocketing win rate. Make your opponents call with tears in their eyes as they watch their chips vanish into your triumphant stack. Number 15. Falling into the trap of weak hands and folding like a house of cards. 
It's time to step up your game and stop being a button clicking monkey. If you are calling raises without a clue about what's coming next, it's like walking blindfolded through a maze of confusion. Know where you're headed on those later streets like a GPS guiding you to poker victory. Fold with confidence if you haven't got a clue about your next move. It's better to save those chips for a more promising venture. Number 16. It seems you've been neglecting the art of continuation bet. Those little pots be waiting for the taking, but ye be missing out on the plundering. The continuation bet be a powerful weapon in your poker arsenal. It's like a secret treasure map leading to instant win rate booty. When you fire the C bet, ye be putting fears in the heart of your opponents. They'll be quaking in their boots, wondering if you be holding the golden hand. Stop letting those pots slip through your fingers like sand. Raise the black flag of the continuation bet and those pots will be yours for the taking. Number 17. Slow down there, tiger. Ye be continuation betting like a fierce storm, but remember, not every situation calls for it. It's like wielding a sword without thinking about where to strike. You see, sea bets are powerful, but they're not meant to be unleashed 100% of the time. On certain flops, it's smarter to hold back and check like a wise old owl. It's all about reading the seas of the poker table and adjusting your strategies accordingly. Number 18. It's like you're on the first name basis with the seabed button, but when it comes to double barreling, you vanish faster than a magician's rabbit. If double barreling ain't your thing, no worries. Just save those seabeds for a rainy day. We wouldn't want you to exhaust your betting energy too soon and leave your opponents scratching their heads at your mysterious single barrel tactics. Number 19. If you're not 3-betting those flashy ace-kings and ace-queen suited when your opponents are throwing loose raises your way, you're practically leaving money on the poker god's doorstep. Put some of that hard-earned cash in the middle when you've got those strong hands. Let's turn up the heat and make those loose raisers think twice before messing with you. Number 20. It's time to put the detective hat and solve this poker mystery. When you raise in a tight player 3 bets, what kind of hand do you think your ace-jack offsuit is beating in this situation? It's like expecting a chihuahua to take down a Great Dane in a wrestling match. If the opponent is tight, they're likely holding some serious firepower and your ace-jack off might be walking into a dragon's den. Number 21. It's time to rake in some serious benefits. Sure. Rakeback won't magically solve all your poker worries, but if you find yourself floating around just break even or marginally losing, this sweet deal can work wonders. Picture this, you, a poker chameleon surviving at the tables and then poof, with the power of Rakeback, you transform into a victorious poker maestro overnight. While it won't cover the roots of your poker troubles, Rakeback can certainly add some extra green to your pockets and turn your game around faster than a cheetah on caffeine. Number 22. If you're hitting the poker table when you're tired or feeling a bit too merry from a few drinks, it's time to pump the brakes. Here's a golden rule to live by. If it's not legal for you to hop behind the wheel, then don't think about hitting the poker button. We know it's a tough pill to swallow, but envision poker as a sport. You wouldn't run a marathon on an empty tank or with wobbly legs, would you? To conquer the poker realm, you've got to be in tip-top shape, both mentally and physically. Otherwise, those results will suffer like a wounded soldier on the battlefield. So let's raise a glass to responsible poker play and save the tired and tipsy antics for a different occasion. Number 23. Let's talk about this so-called lucky hand of yours. Newsflash. 10 deuce off isn't exactly blessed by the poker deities and it won't be your ticket to a money-filled wonderland. Sure, we all love a good luck charm and Doyle Brunson has won both main events with that hand, but relying on 10 deuce off to bring you money is like expecting a plastic spoon to cut through a brick wall. It's time to bid farewell to the illusions of luck and embrace the reality of your poker game. 